चंद्रयान थ्री के बारे में बात कर लेते हैं थ्री डेज आफ्टर द लॉन्च ऑफ चंद्रयान थ्री द इंडियन स्पेस रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज सेड दैट इट इज परफॉर्म सक्सेसफुली द सेकेंड ऑबिट रेजिंग मनूवर ऑन द स्पेस क्राफ्ट उज हेल्थ इज नॉर्मल द स्पेस एजेंसी सेड द ऑल्टीट्यूड ऑफ द स्पेस क्राफ्ट हैज नाउ बीन इंक्रीज फॉर द सेकेंड टाइम एज इट इज ऑन इट्स जर्नी टू द मून द फर्स्ट ऑबिट रेजिंग मनूवर वॉज कंडक्टेड ऑन सैटरडे बाय साइंटिस्ट एट द इसरेट इसरो सेंटर इन बेंगलुरु The scientists will continue to conduct several orbit raising maneuvers till the 31st of July before the spacecraft begins its journey towards the moon. Build is a follow-up uh, mission to Chandrayaan 2. Chandrayaan 3 will seek to demonstrate end-to-end -end landing and roving capabilities. Group Captain Vijay Jha, senior scientist, is joining us live. Uh, Group Captain Jha, it seems that the uh, second orbit raising maneuver has also been performed successfully. Very good morning, Uday. thank you very much for calling me here <clears throat> let me just try to explain to all your viewers because yesterday when isro had tweeted that they had uh, uh, carried out the orbit raising maneuver and they had given the parameters uh, many queries were raised uh, whether it was successful or not it was successful let me just try to explain <clears throat> when the aircraft was when the space craft was launched uh, on on 14th it had injected the spacecraft into an orbit which was 170 kilometers uh, in the in the perigee the closest point and about 36500 kilometers apogee that is the furthest point so it was an elect elliptical orbit into which it was uh, placed there subsequently uh, next day when the first orbit raising maneuver was done that time the perigee motor the the motor when it uh, uh, fires near the closest point of this uh, earth that is the perigee so when it was uh, fired orbit raising was done on the apogee side so it had gone up to 41700 kilometers i suppose up to that uh, altitude it had gone so that was successful they had gone up to about 41 plus 1000 kilometers yesterday they had fired the <coughs> apogee motor at the farthest point as a result the perigee point was raised perigee point earlier was 176 kilometers yesterday it was raised to about 220 plus kilometers so uh, now apogee will remain around uh, 220 to 250 kilometers and there will be further maneuvers maybe today or tomorrow when when the apogee will be raised right now it is at about 41000 uh, kilometers it will be raised to about 55000 kilometers in the uh, second attempt and then gradually it will continue be raising to about 1.4 lakh kilometer that is the uh, expected to be the last orbit raising maneuver for the apogee after which uh, if all the parameters are normal then the uh, chandrayaan 3 will be put onto the lunar trajectory with the further uh, augmentation of the velocity to about uh, escape velocity around about 11.3 or 11.4 kilometers per second and then it will head towards the moon moon is about uh, uh, 3.84 lakh kilometers from earth it will take about 6 days 6 days plus or so uh, in reaching there because what happens as the space craft keeps on going away from the earth that velocity keeps on washing off and finally when it reaches towards the moon it will be very less of the velocity something about you know 1 kilometers uh, per second or maybe even less than that so that the insertion or 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 sucking onto the moon's gravity becomes easier so the other uh, uh, way how the entire thing will be happening in the coming uh, week or so uh, so i compliment isro for raising the perigee altitude uh, yesterday which is right now at about 220 225 kilometers uh, for which lot many queries yesterday had come onto the website uh, seeking the earlier apogee was 14 uh, uh, 41.700 kilometers how did it reduce during the raising maneuver so i must clarify there that the yesterday's effort was not to raise the apogee altitude but perigee altitude perigee was earlier at 176 uh, 
now it is at 225 kilometers and in the coming days it will remain around that between 225 to uh, 250 or 270 it will vary in the coming days but it will remain around that so that the the, uh, the attraction of the earth remains strong in, in the sling operation that happens every time you know what happens uh, when the satellite is the farthest point at the at the zero speed it comes back towards the earth and goes through the perigee closer it is to the earth stronger is the gravity so with the stronger gravity there is a sling operation in which the speed is augmented and altitude keeps on rising that is the sling operation that happens that is why it is taking so many days of of being remaining close to the earth's orbit before it is put to the lunar trajectory for that yes uh, group captain ja also you know the fact is that there will be many uh, more such uh, orbit raising uh, uh, maneuvers isn't it in the days ahead too uh, I, I, you know and and the next phase perhaps is expected post the 31st of july around the 1st of august yes yes uh, see what happens the, uh, the fuel into the spacecraft is limited you know we didn't have uh, uh, too much of carrying capacity of the uh, rocket so rocket presently has carried about 3.9 tons of the payload which chandrayaan 3 has got and in this fuel is limited so that sling operation sling pass through the earth orbit is taking place which helps in gaining the velocity and in, in gaining the altitude so uh, i think maybe about five or six uh, raising maneuvers will be done in the coming days i think one is scheduled to be today uh, in which the apogee, that is the farthest point of the uh, orbit, will be raised. Right now it is at 41,000 uh, uh, kilometers. Uh, in the next effort, it will be put at about, say, 50, 55,000 kilometers. Further next, it will be about 70, 75,000 kilometers. Then it will go to about 90,000 kilometers. And the last effort will be about 1.2 to 1.3 lakh kilometers of the apogee after which uh, they will uh, ensure that the all parameters are within normal the course the heading uh, is absolutely normal and as in when you know the, when when the when the sling maneuvers goes on moon is somewhere else the moon also will have to continue coming into the trajectory finally uh, when the uh, spacecraft is put to the uh, lunar orbit lunar trajectory it has to ensure that by the time it reaches the moon, moon is arriving in its own orbit close to it. So that is a very crucial uh, point when I mean, the translunar insertion will happen. So, uh, you know, it's a dynamic phase. It is not static every day. So they will have to decide onto when to put the uh, craft onto the lunar trajectory. That will depend on the moon's position where it is coming there because in the next six days, the craft will move to its apogee, that is about uh, 3 lakh kilometers or 3.5 lakh kilometers, so that by that time, moon comes in the influence area, and uh, then the craft is maneuvered into the moon's gravity. So all these are very, very intricate uh, operations, maneuvers that has to be carried out, and I compliment ISRO that they are going on the right track. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.